Welcome to The Millie Life. My name is Danielle. I am the owner of The Millie Life and The Millie Life YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I post new motorcycle videos every Thursday and new exercise videos every Friday. Today, we are going to be changing the oil on a 2019 Fat Bob 114. This is something that I've been putting off for a while. I wanted to do it every 3,000 miles. Um, but I've let that get away from me. So I'm approaching 5,000 miles. This will be my first oil change on this bike since I purchased it back in September. Um, first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the equipment. Let's go. We've got a oil drain bin. Okay, drain the oil into. We've got some shop towel wipes. We've got a new oil filter. This is the K&N Performance. And the cool thing about these is that they have the little notch where you can put the wrench to wrench on and off. Five quarts of what looks like dishwasher detergent by the bottle, but it's actually oil. <laughs> this is 20W50. Um, when I first went, I got 5W20. Not what you need. So 20W50. <laughs> Set. We've got some new O-rings, um, just in case the one that's on there is a little bit crusty or dry. We've got our funnel, and we've got our wrench. Nope, this is a ratchet. Still learning here. Got all our tools. We're ready to go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to let the bike run for a couple minutes. Um, oh, and I forgot our jack underneath there to jack up the bike so that it's level. We're gonna let this guy run. The next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna jack the bike up onto the stand. All right, that's just gonna allow the bike to sit level, which will let the oil flow out a whole lot easier. The reason we warmed up the bike too is that's gonna help move the oil out of the bike faster than if it were cold, okay? Ideally, we would have taken it out for a ride, but it's still kind of cold out here today, so that's not happening. Bear with me, this is my first time using a jack, so finger crossed. We're gonna take our drain pan, and like I said before, we're gonna loosen that wrench and get all that old oil out. Sorry, bad timing. Okay, so now we're gonna loosen the bolt that controls the primary engine oil, all right, um, to actually release the oil. And on the fat bob, it's going to be the one that is furthest away from your exhaust pipes and I'll show a more close up um, video of where that is and what it looks like but for all general purposes ugh, damn it it's right here okay this guy right here looking at the bike this obviously didn't work earlier when I actually did the oil change I don't know why I didn't press play so underneath here all right You'll see the passenger peg there. This is going to be your drain plug for your primary engine oil. All right, and that's what we wrenched open, put the oil pan under and let that guy drip. I've got my oil pan. I'm gonna slide this underneath here. Loosen this. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait. <laughs> you're gonna wait for the oil to completely empty. Um, maybe 15, 20 minutes we'll give it. So let's let the oil drain and we'll be back. This is the, the bolt that was holding the oil 
into the bike. But then you can see how smashed the O-ring is. We want that to be round um, and look more circular. <laughs> so we're gonna clean this up real good and then put a new O-ring on so it holds that seal nicely and we're not losing oil um, and causing bigger problems down the road. All right, so our oil has finished draining. We cleaned up this bolt um, and we're going to put on on a new o-ring um, this is the one that came off it's kind of flattened maybe it was inside out not really sure and then this is the new one you can just see the difference in shape so we're gonna put that guy on here just like so so we're gonna use our torque wrench to tighten our drain plug to um, 14 to 21 pounds of torque. All right, so stop, why are you laughing at me? 14 to 21 foot pounds. What'd I say? Pounds of torque. <laughs> So we're gonna use our torque wrench to tighten our drain plug yes. from in between 14 to 21 pounds of foot torque. Jeez. <laughs> I gotta go. I, I'm just effort. I just let you do your video. Wait, I was 14 to 20 foot pounds. 14 to 14 to 20 foot pounds of torque. We're gonna use our torque wrench to torque down our drain plug between 14 to 20 foot pounds. <laughs> Mechanic lingo. It's not my forte. You know what, listen, and I keep living by this thing, if you're not gonna make a fool of yourself to learn things, you're gonna <laughs> fail. So make a fool of yourself, learn. Uh, I had to. Uh, oh. All right, so new vocabulary, drain plug. This isn't just any old bolt, guys. This is a drain plug. <laughs> that awkward sound, it sounds like somebody farting. Are moving around on a leather couch. <laughs> So you guys are going to hand screw this in first. There's going to be still a little bit of oil dripping. We're going to hand tighten it as far as you can go. And I finally put gloves on to keep the oil off my hands. It's not a girly thing, it's a health thing. Not excellent for your hands to be absorbing all that motor oil. So now we're going to put the torque wrench on and we're going to tighten it down. Thank you. <laughs> Good filter tab. Yep. What we're going to do is we're going to take three screws and drill them into the oil filter and then try to use a vice grip to pull the, air, uh, the oil filter out. Uh, yeah, so that's why we're going to put the filter I showed you guys at the beginning on. It has that nice bolt on the end, which makes it way easier to remove when you do oil changes. Okay. All right, so we've got two screws in there now. <laughs> here they are. <laughs> oh, that's not going to work. No. I'm going to need a bigger wrench. Oh, oh, I see what you're doing. Oh. Mm. Do not run your engine like this. Is it not advisable? I'm mm. not a Harley mechanic, but they're gonna tell you the same thing. Mm. Okay, so that took about an hour longer than I expected. <laughs> and Matt's always super wonderful about supporting me and helping me through these different repairs. I'm new at mechanic work, so if he hadn't been here, I would not have been able to get that filter off. 
So what we ended up doing was um, after putting a bunch of screws and trying to turn it and then bolts and trying to turn it, um, I went up down to Napa Auto and we got this nylon strap oil filter wrench and that allowed us to get that sucker off. It created a big mess, but that's okay. It's off. We'll be on to the K&N filters now. So I'm going to clean this up real good with some um, some wipes, and then eventually we'll wash the bike. Um, but yeah, it's off. We're in the home stretch. Whew. So this is the guy who saved our butt. Now we've got our oil. We are going to fill the filter about halfway full um, before we put that back on. Or not back on, but on. Yeah, what do you guys think about that? When you let people pedestrians cross, is it, you know, required to wave and to say thank you, or is it expected and they should take their sweet time and mean mug you as they walk across? <laughs> All right, so halfway full. How do you know when you get to half full? Well, just pour a little bit in. It's not very big. No, it's not. I think I poured more than half. Well. Pour a little bit of out into something, I don't know. Yeah, it's not very big at all. No. It's surprising. Okay. So. I mean, considering the bike holds five quarts, it's not a lot at all. No. This already comes uh, pre oiled around the rim, but I'll grab that around there, here. Okay, so we're gonna put this on. It doesn't want to be super, super tight that you can't get the stupid thing off. Like there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just feels right. weird not it's, tightening it, 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 it all. It does, but, but it's snugging it, right? Yeah. Like, how about this? Can you reach out with your hand and take it off? Well, it's really oily. And you'll have a wrench to take the next one off, so. Yay, that's the best part. Yep. Okay, so now. Time to fill it. Time to fill her up. Nope. We're gonna, just going to check the drain plug real quick, make sure that it's in there snug and no residual oil has come out before we start to fill the tank with new oil um, and create another mess. Okay, so it looks good under here. I don't see anything dripping or cool. underneath. So besides the giant mess we created with the filter. So we've got five quarts we're going to fill the bike with. Take this guy out. Funnel. The funnel will fill up quickly, so be careful. Don't just yeah, go just give it a second. dumping the whole thing in. It really feels like I'm pouring laundry detergent in here. It doesn't look like laundry detergent, but... So we're going to dump most of this in, and then we'll leave about an hour quart in here. We're going to take it off of the kickstand, let it run for a little bit, check the oil with the dipstick, Make sure we're at a good level, and then we'll have a little bit of oil left to put in as needed. So you've got the five, five quarts, and then all the way down to one. Okay, so we're going to try this differently than before, because jacking the bike up on the ground felt very scary. It's like being on one of those tower Something. drops. Yeah. You don't know when it's actually going to plummet to the ground, but let's hope we don't do that. There you go, you're free now, so you should be able to lay her down on this kickstand. And that's our oil change. <laughs> So wrapping up the oil change, we started at about two o'clock and now it's four o'clock. So <laughs> quite a process, but I think what really elongated it was getting that oil filter off. Finding that tool over at Napa Auto Parts really, really helped, but I would highly recommend staying with those K&N oil filters that have the bolt on the end so that you can get the wrench in there and easily get them off. Also, I've tightened it myself now and I know that it's not so, so, so tight that you can't get in there <laughs> and loosen it. Um, I have run the bike twice now um, in the past 30 minutes just to make sure where, or to, just to see where the oil is at. Ran it for about a minute or two, checked the oil, um, added another quart in, ran it again, added, um, and then we were at the um, 
there was enough oil in the bike. Um, so now she is all ready to go. I will probably give her a bath at some point soon, um, especially with all the oil that like leaked out with that filter experience. Um, and I just wanted to caveat, I am new at mechanical work. I have never worked on a car. I've never worked on a bike. I haven't done a whole lot of home repair um, using tools. Um, so I don't know the terminology. So I am learning. I am looking at YouTube videos. I am talking to Matt quite a bit about his experience because he's done a ton of work on his bike. Um, he has a construction background. He is really good with his hands. That's where I'm coming from. I'm not saying these parts incorrectly as something that I think is funny or for you guys not to take me seriously. Um, but that's just where I'm at in my stage of the game. And if you are <laughs> right there with me, drop that heart or drop something in the comments below. Uh, but thanks again, guys, so much for tuning in. This was my first oil change on my Harley Davidson Fat Bob 114. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that we use, please leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you. Uh, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Danielle, this is The Millie Life, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.